I'm Hunter Gordon, St. Ignatius High School, and this is Ohio Sportsnet. This is Hayden Parente, St. Ignatius High School. This is Ohio Sportsnet. Am I going to be in your way or what? Give him a red. Are you kidding me? Give him a red. Oh, 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 o
out of here! Come on, bro! Come on! Come on! Let the boys play! Oh! Oh! That's a yellow. No, you changed. Oh, you gave it to someone else. Oh, no. You gave it to someone else. Come on, let's go! Let's go, White! Come on, White! Oh! What did he do to the cleat in the eye? Oh, so we've got, oh, we got blood streaming down. And I'm thinking, right? I go in there, I know I pulled the yellow out, I had it in my hand, and I'm thinking, 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 and I'm looking up, the, okay, that's wrong cover. I gotta go with it. So, it's just from the stands, we couldn't tell. That. Yeah, it, he, he was just all bloody down really? his face. Thank you. Hey, you guys want the gable? It's huge. Coming in as a freshman, we got in my freshman year. Last two years, you know, we started off the season slow. Lost the cup both the years in the first game. And this year to win it, my last year, my final chance, it's, it means so much to me. So uh, where's your cape after you went airborne? You know? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I scored two my freshman year. First goal coming in the Jesuit Cup, actually. And, to get that third goal of my career Everybody's in the Jesuit goal. Cup in my final year, it's just, it means so much to me. When did you realize it was gonna be a diving header? You know, it just, just happens. It's just in the flow of the game. The way the ball came a little bit low, you know, I was free, it just happened, you know. When the game swung and that red card, yeah. what, did, what was going through your guys' mind? It seemed like it just kind of rattled you guys. Yeah, yeah, you know, we, I mean, we were mad. Losing a player like Steven, it's, I mean, it's hard. One of our, you know, best offensive threats um, but just you know bringing everyone together after that buckling down and to come out on top to keep our keep our heads in the game that means a lot and that shows a lot about the guys getting everyone in everyone keeping their heads that right there you know will push us through the season because late in the playoffs we're gonna have close games like this calls aren't gonna go our way you know everything's not gonna be pretty we're gonna face a lot of diversity and the more we can face that, the more we can overcome it, we're going to be our best. I think of anything, we think of ourselves first as, as a Jesuit school. And so to be here with our Jesuit brother schools on this first kind of the big weekend of the season, it's a big deal. And these right now we're three, uh, three teams here that were in the top 10 in the state. So winning it is important. We lost it the last two years, and so it's good to win it back. And uh, just we, we want to win. Everybody does. And so it was a good thing. So. How nice to see your center back score from diving header really cool. Goal scoring, a lot of it comes down to who wants to be in the box and who wants to make things happen. And Hunter, as much as he plays in the back for us, he likes to get up and, and cause trouble up front. And so it was, it was, we'll take it. If he does it every game, that'll be okay. So. Yeah, we haven't even, you know, we haven't worked on diving headers now. But yeah, he was playing a little bit outside back and just making dangerous runs. And so 
So he knew when Lawrence got the ball out wide just that it was going to be coming across, and so he was in the right place at the right time. A little diving heroics, and it was good. And then usually sitting on a 1-0 lead is difficult, but then that the play with Steven, the red card, yeah. you know, your boys, it seemed like they got rattled at first. Yeah, well, everybody, anybody would get rattled when you you lose one of your best players and the game's on the line. And So St. John's was a great team. They, they're they dangerous. They've got a couple guys that are, they've got what, number 10, Butcher, who's one of the top kids in the state. And so and they were really, uh, naturally, the, towards the end of the game, we're down, they're going to press and press and press. And to do it with a man down, it's it's harder, but and it just yeah it throws you off your, your rhythm when you're, you're down a player. So. What was the reason the official gave you for the red? That he put his foot to the goalie's face. So and I, I, mean, I hope the goalie's all right. I, that, you know he had a cut on his eye, but I contend that the goalie put his face down into the zone where the ball was, and and so Stephen didn't even and the goalkeeper was out of the box. He was a couple of yards out of the box going to head the ball, and Stephen was just putting his foot to just to knock it by him. So. There was no intent to hit him. That was all the intent there was to hit the ball and just to push it past him. And so it's, yeah, it's it is what it is. So, what does that say about your boys regrouping and then keeping the clean sheet for the last 15 minutes? Yeah, it's great. That's what high school soccer is a lot about: heart and just digging through situations. And so this is the first tough moment that we've had this season. Really, really happy with how they responded to it and that yeah, we came out on top.